everyone, this is Twin Flame. How's life treating you? Today's topic I'm going to present to you has quite shocking content, which you may not have ever heard about. However, I'm sure it'll help you understand the systems of the universe more profoundly. Okay, now I would like to start reading Captain Uraka's message, The Secret Behind the Birth of a Planet. Planets are born in the 17th dimension of the universe. Stars such as the Sun are born in the 17th dimension. Asteroids or planetoids are also born in the 17th dimension. Planets and stars which have been created in the special zone of the 17th dimension are moved to be placed into galaxies by spaceships. After the placement of a planet made by spaceships, the process of a planetary birth begins. A planet is born through three large protective energy membranes. The outermost protective membrane formed on a planet provides space for the planet. Once the space for a planet is secured, the second protective membrane that determines the planet's time is to be installed by spaceships. After the space and time of a planet are born, the third protective membrane, called the energy membrane for the planetary birth, is installed to allow life to be born and live on the planet. The planetary protective membrane can be illustrated as follows. The first protective membrane installed on a planet is the energy membrane that determines the planet's space and it is the outermost energy membrane of a planet. When this membrane is installed, a specific phase is formed for a planet. Acting as the light field for the birth of a planet, it determines the planet's physical structure and the location and territory of the planet in the universe at the level of the invisible world. The interior of this membrane looks like a vacuumized empty space and may be compared to the land on which we can build a house. The second protective membrane installed on a planet is also known as the energy membrane of time. After this second energy membrane is installed on a planet and then a huge system releasing time particles is established, time is born on the planet. Each planet has its own unique time depending on the nature of the energy membrane of time installed on each planet. In other words, time is created differently for each planet in accordance with the characteristics of the energy membrane of time installed on each planet. The flow of time on a planet varies from planet to planet. Time on the planet Earth is different from time in space. The flow of time means the birth of life. The fact that time flows indicates that life begins to be born. Also, it means that the system of the tree of life in the light is ready to be run. The progression of time means the birth of the breath of a planet, implying the true birth of a planet. The fact that time flows means that the door to the dimension of a planet is opened. The energy membrane of time installed on a planet determines the dimension of the planet. The space enclosed by the planet's energy membrane of time is where spaceships perform their roles and missions and also where the dimensional administrators of the universe reside. Within this energy membrane of time, there are additional three membranes with different properties. The outermost membrane is called the energy membrane of the intangible deep layer. The membrane in the middle is referred to as the energy membrane of the intangible middle layer. And the innermost membrane is the energy membrane of the tangible superficial layer. The space between the energy membrane of time and the energy membrane of the intangible deep layer is empty, except that there is only time unique to a planet within this space. This space is where time of a planet is created 
and the zero point adjustment for the planet's time takes place, which determines the birth of time and the flow of time on the planet. The space between the energy membrane of the intangible deep layer and that of the intangible middle layer has intangible devices underpinning the life support system of a planet. In particular, the system of the tree of life in the light of a planet is located right above the intangible middle layer. The space between the energy membrane of the intangible middle layer and that of the tangible superficial layer has a special energy membrane installed to filter light coming into a planet from the universe. Harmful cosmic rays and UV light with shorter wavelength are blocked by this energy membrane. In the space between the energy membrane of the tangible superficial layer and the third protective membrane, there is an intangible device that converts the world of the intangible deep layer into the world of the tangible superficial layer. In addition, after the process for the Earth's dimensional ascension is completed, the ice membrane to be installed over the sky of the planet Earth will be located in this space. This space where the spiritual hierarchy of a planet is installed. The third protective membrane installed on a planet is called the energy membrane for the planetary birth. The systems installed in this energy membrane are as follows. There is a huge system installed to convert the world of the intangible deep layer into the world of the tangible superficial layer. Huge intangible mechanical devices are also installed to transform the world of the intangible middle layer into the world of the tangible superficial layer. The characteristics of a planet are determined by the nature of this energy membrane for the planetary birth. The natural environment of a planet is also determined by this energy membrane. The energy membrane for the planetary birth means the area influenced by the magnetic field and the gravity of a planet. This energy membrane plays a role in protecting the living creatures on a planet. Within this energy membrane, there is another energy membrane installed to form the atmosphere of a planet. Within the planet's atmosphere, there are three internal energy membranes that cause the atmospheric stratification giving rise to distinct four layers such as the thermosphere, the mesosphere, the stratosphere, and the troposphere. Within the energy membrane for the planetary birth, there are energy membranes still unknown to humankind. Those membranes may not be understandable yet at the current level of human consciousness. However, as human consciousness is raised and the science and technology of the planet Earth is further advanced, mankind will be able to know about various energy membranes that exist on the planet. Now that the time has come, the secret of the grand universe hidden behind the creation and the birth of a planet is disclosed at the present level of human consciousness. I, Captain Ureka, leave this message as a record. I wish all the best to all human beings. Thank you so much for listening. This message was translated by Twin Flame. Bye.